as I'm sure you've heard this week, Hassan Piker went off talking about how hard streaming is compared to other jobs and the internet collectively went after him because he's categorically wrong and many people have been responding to it. Well, I follow Eric July and caught his video on it and um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that Eric misses the mark very often, but I think he missed the mark a little bit on this one and I understand where he's coming from, but I don't know, I just, I disagree with the leap in logic that I think Eric July made. However, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, stick around, see what I have to say before you guys jump in and hate me and call me some commie prick because every one of you do that and I prove most of you wrong because I'm not a commie prick. And some of you guys are just trolls, so you can't prove a troll wrong because they know the truth and they're just trolling. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to A Drink With Crazy. And if you guys do comment down below, don't forget to tune in every Sunday where I read your comments live on my live stream called Sunday Coffee. So, if you guys do want to call me a commie prick because I just so happen to disagree with a take on the internet, go for it. I'll read your comments live and uh, let's get into this. So, obviously, I think it was over the weekend or something like that. I don't know. I saw Asmund Gold cover it first, and then I saw a whole bunch of other people cover it first. Hassan was trying to say how his job drained his social battery more than other jobs, except for maybe retail. Because the guy probably has no idea what other jobs exist outside of his other than maybe retail. So, categorically, we all know that to be false, right? The draining thing, the social battery draining thing, that's just mental fatigue, right, at the end of the day, okay? Mental fatigue from doing a job. Any of my construction worker guys out there, my blue-collar guys, know exactly how fatigued you can be at the end of the day. So, let's not, let's not mince words here and say, oh, I agree with Hassan. However... The one thing he was trying to compare is his level of fatigue after eight or nine hours of streaming to everybody else's level of fatigue after, you know, doing eight or nine hours at their job. Now, for all of us construction boys, we know what it's like to work 18 hours to 21 hours a day if things go south real bad, but that's a story for a different time, okay? So when Eric Chenlai posted his thoughts on it, kind of like what he used to do I, you know, Eric used to bring up a lot of statistics and stuff like that, and still does to a certain degree, but, and maybe that was just my fault because I was expecting him to kind of answer it in a different way, but he went from saying, he, he started off the conversation with talking about a section of the population who despises their job, and obviously that would be soul-sucking and soul-draining and mentally fatiguing, right, to a great degree. I think all of us have been there where we've had jobs where we're just like, yeah, no, it, it, and it does drain you. It drains you, it causes you stress and all that stuff, right? But then Eric makes the leap, and this is what confused me. He makes the leap from going that some people don't like what they do to they're fakers, right? And they should just stop faking it. And I didn't quite follow that track. I didn't quite follow the logical jump there. So the one thing that I wanted to offer here is a slightly different thought is that after doing a job for many years, I know a lot of people that have done jobs for many, many, many years, right? And he talks about people wanting to take breaks and things like that. And the reason that they take breaks and they have to take breaks and take time off is because they're faking it and they are absolutely uh, 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 lying to you about who they are online. Uh, and I, I would like Eric to, 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 to really think about the fact that we live in one of the laziest generations that America has ever known. So instead of offering up the malice debate here, right, where any streamer who takes time off because, wow, it's just, it's, it's such hard work, it's so much harder than the day job because they're faking it or whatever, why don't we just talk about the crux of this situation about having the laziest generation out there? I'm sorry, we have an entire generation of people who didn't know how to work, who weren't taught how to work, who weren't taught the value of hard work, right? What it takes to build yourself up. And now we have a generation of people who think they don't wanna work so they go do streaming and then they find out, oh crap, it actually takes more than what I thought this did 
And in the beginning, it's kind of fun, but again, they're work averse, right? They're, uh, they, they have this aversion to getting the job done, to doing things that are uncomfortable. So when something starts to become uncomfortable to them because they don't appreciate not the fact that they have a killer job, but the fact that they actually have to put in time, effort, and energy even though it's not as much, right? Let's Again, let's not mince words here. I'm not saying that streaming puts time, effort, and energy into it, like digging a ditch to go lay public utility lines, which is what I used to do. But the malice, the straight jump to malice here, to say that they're faking it, they're lying about who they are. And I'm not saying some of them aren't because we know they uh, that uh, some of them are because they've been caught doing it over the years. The Internet ain't it, the Internet wasn't exactly created yesterday. But when you have think about what you're saying, you have a guy who is a socialist, right, who does not believe in the value of work, who's probably never worked a day in his life and now sits down and does something for nine to 10 hours, something that he thinks is work and it's soul sucking for him. I would offer up that a socialist who doesn't value work, who has to work a little bit, work is even on streaming and talk to people. I would imagine that that guy is probably less likely to being a liar and more likely to just being extremely lazy. I couldn't follow the logical leap that Eric made, jumping to the point where he said these guys are fakers and liars. And again, we've seen a lot of people do it, but I don't ascribe that to everyone. But I do know from a lot of the socialists and communists that I've talked to, they're lazy. They don't wanna work. Everything that makes them slightly uncomfortable in the day is work to them. So yeah, of course a socialist would say that streaming for nine hours a day is soul sucking because he actually has to do something for his income. And again, I love Eric July to death, but I just think he missed the mark on this a little bit going for the malice argument versus the laziness argument. I mean, statistically, we can see, we, we can prove this that we can see that this generation today wants to do less work, okay, and is more work averse than every generation before them. And that's something that we can prove. You can't prove that this guy's a liar unless he's caught blatantly doing it. But based off of his actions of, I've seen a clip of him walk away for a half hour and let something play, we can tell that this guy's lazy. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, I know I disagree with Eric on this one, but like I said, I just as socialists and communists, I, they're 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 all about they're all about that you know that free ride, right? Like if they could just sit on their couches all day and get that government money, they would absolutely do that. So let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, do you think it's laziness or do you think they're liars? In this instance, I think it's laziness. I really do. I really really do. It's work averse. I don't want to do nothing for my money. I just want to get it. But he actually has to do. He's got to talk to people like a telemarketer. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And like I said, I will read those every single Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. It's called Sunday Coffee. And I look forward to seeing you all there. So as always, until next time, cheers, everybody.